Welcome to Xara template tutorial lesson number 66. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about a new feature in the Xara Web Designer MX Premium version 8 of the Xara software. And we're going to talk about the live effect tool. And if you look on my screen right now, you'll see some of the things that I've created using the live effect tool. And you can see that we got these really cool looking swirly type of logos. And I believe that the live effect tool will allow you to create not only fancy logos, but it will also allow you to spice up your site a little bit and make it stand out from your competitors. So I highly recommend experimenting with the live effect tool. But if you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in the Xara software. And once you do that, let's go ahead and draw a rectangle in our workspace. And you can use any uh, quick shape that you want to, but in this case, I'm gonna use the rectangle so that I can create something somewhat similar to these circles that you see up here above. So after you've created uh, the rectangle down here, I want you to go ahead and go to the live effect tool here in the toolbar. And it looks kind of like a plugin icon. So once you click on that, you're going to go to the upper left hand corner of your document in the info bar. And you're going to click on the new button here that says new. And it's going to help you add a new effect to that rectangle that we just drew. And we're going to go to the deformation filter option. And the pop out menu is going to pop out. And you're going to go to concentric waves. And you're going to left click on that. And when you do that, you'll get this pop up menu that you see right here. And this is going to allow you to adjust the parameters for the concentric waves. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to lower the wavelength all the way down. And you notice that, that nothing happens. But let's go ahead and move the amplitude all the way up. And when you move the amplitude all the way up, you see that we get this fancy pattern here. But I'm actually going to lower my amplitude because it's way too strong. And I'm going to increase the wavelength so that it looks somewhat more similar to what we have up above. So I'm going to lower it about a 23. And I'm going to adjust the amplitude down a little bit. And you can start to see that we get something that looks really unique as we adjust the parameters. So I'm going to bring the wavelength in up a little, just a little bit more, and I'm going to adjust the amplitude some more as well. So you got to kind of got to play with it until you get the right uh, parameters that you're looking for. And I think this is close enough to um, showing a circular pattern. So I'm going to close that out. And then I'm going to select my selection tool, and I'm going to adjust this uh, circular pattern and make it smaller. And then after I make it smaller, I'm going to go back to the live effect tool in the toolbar. And I'm going to adjust the DPI in the info bar. And if you look up here in the info bar, you'll see 96 DPI. And this is going to adjust the res resolution. I'm going to set it to 200 DPI. And you see again that it looks a lot more cleaner than what it did before. And it looks a lot closer to some of the samples that we have up here at the top. So make sure that you adjust the resolution because at 96 DPI, you kind of get some pixelated edges. So I highly recommend setting that to at least 200 DPI so that you get a sharper image. So that's how you make a circular pattern like the one we have up here. Uh, hopefully you were able to follow me. Uh, I don't think it was too hard. I did go a little bit faster. And one of the reasons for that is I expect you guys to get a little bit more familiar with the program and be able to move a little bit faster. So uh, I hope that that wasn't too quickly for you. But the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and go back to your uh, toolbar here and select the rectangle tool again and draw a rectangle and then go back to your live effects tool and go to new in the upper left hand corner and this time we're going to go to uh, let me see let's go ahead and go to distortion filter and click on add noise and you'll get a pop-up menu again well no let's not do that one I want to show you a different one actually Let's go to mm, trying to find one that, that will give you a nice look. Let's go to distortion filter and go to diffuse. And we're going to make this rectangle show the diffuse effect using the filter. So let's increase horizontal and you'll see that horizontally we get this kind of almost like an explosion kind of look. And if we increase the vertical, we get more of an explosion from a vertical standpoint as well. And the more you increase these factors, the more it looks pixelated or like an explosion, I should say. 
And so that's another effect that you could apply using the filter effects using the live effect tool. And maybe I wanted to put this behind my circle. So I would move it to the back of that circle and I probably would make it a lighter color actually. More like a grayish white behind it. And that could kind of add some more of the essence of this particular design. And I actually probably would want to even lighten it up even a little bit more. And it kind of adds a texture now to this logo. And it adds more depth to it. So hopefully you can see that on screen. I don't know if you can. It's kind of a light pixelated uh, texture. But these are some of the ways that you can use the live effect tool to add some essence to your designs and make it really stand out for your competitors. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that it showed you the value in using the live effects tool. And if you have any questions or you would like to learn how to use a specific tool in terms of the live effects tool, um, just send us a message and we'll do our best to help you. And don't forget to subscribe or embed or comment or give feedback on this video. Give us a thumbs up if it was helpful. And stay tuned for our future tutorials.